Well, y'all, I think I messed up. Big time. What attacked you? I'm heartbroken. I need a ridge cap up there ASAP. Is that gonna work? All right, y'all. So if you caught our last video, you know that I completed the shingles going around the eaves of our earth bag dome. Well, I'm about to start the next phase of that project, and that is putting a ridge cap going along the top to keep water from kind of getting in behind the shingles. So my next plan of attack is using this little guy right here. It's a three inch metal seamer. Now I've already kind of practiced with this a little bit. Let me show you what this thing does. Now here's a little bit of that six inch flashing. Just practicing with it and I'll show you kind of like what I've been doing with it. But you can see it gets a very nice bend in this metal. I think this will be perfect for putting it around the eaves. I'm loving it. So I still have a lot more metal to prep and uh, bend as I get these ridge caps up ready for the eaves. I'd like to introduce y'all to my new saw horses. I'm pretty excited. The ones I've been using have been kind of old, made out of two by fours, they're breaking apart. So I splurged, convinced Jessica we needed them right away. I'm pretty excited to try these out. They look really sturdy. You know, I really think we'll put them through their paces. So I'm excited to see how well they hold up. Look at that. These legs are extendable, but in the shortest version, it's a perfect height for a short guy like me. <laughs> So really liking these so far. Just takes a couple minutes to set up and ready to go. Can't wait to try this out. Nice, I'm really liking these saw horses. Super sturdy. Just wants me to prep more boards for the Hacienda compost bin. And luckily I already had a board here that's already kind of prepared. Now I've been using two by fours, but why not a two by six? That's less two by fours that I need. So I'm just gonna cut this up real quick and uh, I should be good for a little bit longer. Woo, solid. All right, now I'm gonna start prepping for that ridge cap. Now I cut a little piece off of here to do some uh, tests on it, but I think I can do this without cutting any, just use the whole roll. I mean, if I can do it without making more cuts, making more openings in the flashing, I think that would be the best way to go. So I'm gonna prep this whole roll, bend it, try and get it up there. Now, same thing I did with the shingles. I'm gonna give the side of the flashing here a little bit of abrasion. That way, when I paint it, the paint will stick to it. You miss me getting attacked in the face. Whatever attacked you in the face missed me getting attacked in the face because I would have attacked it in the face. What attacked you? The chicken. Which chicken? You just point out that chicken. I'm gonna make it pay. It's a chicken attack. Chicken attack. They didn't like that. They didn't like No huevos? We need more chickens. <laughs> I won't disagree with that. So now that I got that other side all sanded, ready to go, now I'm gonna make a mark going all the way across from one side to the other. So I can make sure I get my crease approximately two inches going all the way across. It takes a little bit of time, but I wanna make sure it's fairly accurate and fairly even going all the way. Taking my blood pressure uh, recently, uh, I've been seeing some really low readings, and I was just—I didn't know if I should be concerned about that or not. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Yep, you too. Bye. I was just gonna call, leave a message for my doctor about the uh, blood pressure readings I've been seeing, because they've been pretty low. Kind of dropped pretty low after the after I did this longer fast and my blood pressure really dropped, so uh, I'm not sure if I should be reducing the meds or going off of them, so I'm gonna see what he says. Technically, I'm not supposed to see him for a few months.
We'll see where it goes in. I've been getting some crazy low readings though, like 93 over, you know, 70 or something like that. All right, now that I got this all marked out, let's get to folding. I'm gonna use this to give a little bend in the metal first, then give it a little bit more bend with my hands, then give it the final seam. All right, y'all, I'm about to head in. It's kind of an unexpected appointment. We're gonna have them check out my lower blood pressure and see if I can get off these meds. Wish me luck. So I just got back from the doctor's office. Now, when they took the blood pressure there, it was about normal. It was like 118 over 78, something like that. But yeah, after showing him the numbers uh, and how low it was getting, he wrote a prescription for the lowest possible dose. So, uh, you know, we'll go on the lower dose and we'll just see how it, uh, how it reacts. And he just says, you know, if it's getting too low, don't take it and just uh, play it by ear. So I'm excited to see how I do. And then hopefully next time I see him in a month or two, maybe we'll be off of it completely. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> we're filming each other. Uh oh. So Jess, why are we out all the way here in the middle of nowhere? We're gonna see some chubs. <laughs> we're gonna have to put some context to that later. <laughs> but uh, are we finally taking this guy shed hunting? You think we'll find any sheds out here? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Is this the time to put crew to the test? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Crew, you gonna find some sheds? Oh. He's got business to take care of. All right, much like the shingles, I'm gonna give this a coat of paint. Protect it from rusting. I think this will make it last a lot longer. So that was exciting, the San Bernardino hike. I know you've kind of been training crew for like shed hunting, but we didn't really necessarily do shed hunting per se. I wasn't expecting much from that. And if we did find something, I don't know if we could actually take it with us because it is a wildlife refuge. Seems like he's focused on something. I thought he was onto something. We didn't find any sheds, but we found uh, we found some poop. Oh, well, that's just as good. For well, not <laughs> well, for, for him, yeah. <laughs> Well y'all, it's that time of year again. It's May now, and I don't know what the temps are like where you're at, but they are steadily climbing over here. Probably gonna be in the 90s soon. And although that's okay for Jess and I, crew is a little bit more sensitive to the heat. I wanna bring out the AC, get that set up, so that way uh, when we do get those, when those 90 degree days start rolling in, crew's a little bit more comfortable. Let's get this set up, y'all. Oh, crew! Look what we got. It's gonna keep you cool during the summer. How long have we been living with crew now? Probably over four years. We're, we're estimating him to be about 12 years old now. But we're trying to make him a little more comfortable in his old age. But you know, I had to get that air set, air conditioning set up. It's getting to that time of year. Uh, it's getting into the 90s, probably maybe even triple digits soon. And I don't think crew does well when the temps start getting even around 90. So we gotta kinda keep him cool. 
and uh, we often get those suggestions about shaving them like uh, every time around this year but with a double coat dog like this you don't want to shave them even though he has a really thick coat of fur that probably does increase his heat it kind of insulates them as well so it does kind of keep him cooler keeps the sun off of his skin which is incredibly important so we got to find other ways to keep him cool so the air conditioning will really help there we go sealed up now I'm just going to put a little foam around the inside edges to insulate a little bit. We should be ready to go. Keep going. All right, y'all, it is a warm, sunny day out today, and I have got to get up there to put on the ridge cap. I want to get it on ASAP. I got other things we got to do out here besides these eaves. We got to get moving on protecting this dome. So much going on, it'd be nice to finally put this part of the build in the bag. So I got all the ridge caps prepared. Now, just gotta get them up there and get them installed. All right, y'all, you've seen that. It is 93 degrees out here. It is getting warm. Not as hot as it can be, but uh, it's up there. Let's see what it is in the dome. Actually, I already know, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. Oh, again, it feels so amazing inside here. It is 71 degrees inside here. 93 outside. 71 inside that's pretty amazing now it'd be interesting to see like if we get numerous hot days in a row how does that fare does that still maintain a 20 degree difference it should be interesting to find out Oh my gosh! It's in the water! Oh. It must be thirsty. I don't know if you know how to get out of here. Come on, you got it. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no, <laughs> well, y'all, I think I messed up. Big time. 
I need a ridge cap up there ASAP. Is that gonna work? Hopefully. Because we've been getting some strong winds and it has been blowing the shingles off of the eaves. Not all of the shingles, it's basically everything on that top row. I feel like if I can get this ridge cap on, in place and secure, these shingles will be rock solid. But until I can do that, these shingles are subject to getting pulled off with these winds we've been having. Look at that one, hanging out for dear life. I think I might have messed up, but we'll find out here in a little bit. I thought having a nice tight crease in there would be good. Maybe clamp it down to the eaves a little bit more securely. It just look a lot nicer. But putting such a sharp crease in that metal has really made that metal a lot weaker in that crease spot. And so when I try unflexing it a little bit, I think it's tearing up in some places, which kind of defeats the purpose. Jesse, going for a ride? All right, you got five minutes. <laughs> Someone took the bowl already. Oh, they snapped nah. it. They snapped it. Wanna go for a real pony ride? <laughs> All right. So the San Bernardino is a really special oasis, literally, for a lot of wildlife, including some endangered species that really depend on the wetlands there to survive. So it's really important. Unfortunately, this area is under a growing threat and it's a threat that impacts not just the plants and animals but the people in this area who are all depending on precious water. Groundwater is being threatened. And this is a problem that has been going on for quite a while. We actually made a video about this some years ago. It was a problem then, it continues and it's only gotten worse. People's lives are being impacted by this. Their wells are drying up and communities are really falling apart because of that. There's a petition going around right now to put a measure on the ballot to create an active management area, which will help communities decide what they need as far as water resources and help stop the abuse of groundwater guzzling it up faster than it's able to recharge, which is very dangerous for a number of reasons. It would exempt any residential wells. Really, this is about protecting our local resources and the local people here. If you want to participate, if you want to help out, if uh, you're being affected by that, there are people out there right now that are fighting to protect people's rights, protect the water. Yeah, if you want to help out, if you are local to southeastern Arizona, especially if you are in the Douglas groundwater basin area, you can sign a petition if you're a registered voter here, and that will put a measure on the ballot that will help us protect the groundwater here. If you're not local, you can still give some support. I'd suggest checking out ArizonaWaterDefenders.com. You can find out where you can sign the petition. I think you can also donate to help them if you want. We're not actually affiliated with this group, but this is something that 
we're passionate about ourselves. If this is something that just interests you, you know, check out the video that we did for more information or check out that website, Arizona Water Defenders. And there's a number of articles and things you can read about kind of all the negative impacts that uh, this has had on this area. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Lots of info and uh, help out if you can. You can already see here how it's splitting along the seam when I try to unfold it. It's just with that tool, I got that seam a little too sharp. I don't think this whole length will go around there. I was really hoping that I could just put these 25 foot lengths all the way around, but uh, I don't think it's gonna work out that way. <sighs> well, I'm heartbroken. I really thought this was gonna work out and it did not. Yeah. I think we had a pretty good success with the shingles. That went really well. I think it looks really nice. Uh, we just had to do this one thing to finish that off, cap it off. Uh, I honestly thought this was gonna be a lot simpler. I don't know what possessed me to do three rolls of that without testing it out. <laughs> Usually, I kind of test something out just to kind of see if it works before going all in. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know why. That's probably always a good thing to keep in mind when you're doing something new or different. Just try to test it out on a smaller scale first. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a waste of time, kind of a waste of money, which I especially hate. I hate wasting time and I hate wasting money. I feel like I've done both of those things. Oh. It won't go completely to waste, I guarantee you. We'll use that metal for something. But, live and learn. So, I gotta, I gotta get some new material and I gotta get a ridge cap in place. Some things work, like the shingles, some things don't. I think I have a better idea of what to do going forward. So, I wanna give that a try and I'm gonna test it before, before putting things in action. So now I know better. I gotta come up with another solution. I think I got something in mind. I gotta get this ridge cap on there because with these winds blowing like they are, I don't wanna lose any more shingles. I put them up once. I don't wanna have to put them up again. <laughs> so I'll get this ridge cap up. We'll get this thing secured and then we'll finally move on from these eaves, hopefully. All right, y'all, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.